Hi everybody, it's Charlotte with Hi everybody, it is Charlotte with my budget update for the first week of October 2017. I am going to go ahead. I have 15 transactions that I need to input. My no spend October has not started out as well as I wanted it to. So going down here, I had to my first transaction, I had my rent go ahead and come out as well as my cell phone came out. And also on the first, I did a little bit of shopping um, because I'm starting a, that new role I needed at work. I needed to go and buy some more dress pants because I've been a little lax at my current job where I've been wearing jeans and not really dressing up or anything like that. So I had to go and actually buy some more dress slacks that I actually fit into because mine were too small. Um, so I went to New York and company and bought two pairs of pants, which really and truly, um, I got a good deal on them because the two pairs of pants were $25 a piece when normally they are $54, around $55 for the pair. So um, getting two pairs for $25, that's half off of both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that into clothing. Then I needed, needed, needed to stop for lunch and get some KFC for $5.41. It wasn't really a need, it was a want because I was tired after shopping for groceries. And I'm going out of order, I apologize. But at Aldi, I, where's my groceries? There it is. Um, this actually needs to be split because I had some of them going to groceries and some of it to household. So I bought another thing of vinegar for 79 cents and the remaining was 65 23 and the reason why the vinegar is in the household is because I use vinegar as my fabric softener in my laundry so I'll um, usually I buy a big buck a big jug of vinegar and just reuse a glass jar of Heinz vinegar white vinegar and then I add some essential oils into that bottle but I have not gone to Walmart to buy the big jugs of vinegar so when I'm at Aldi I just go and grab the little thing of white vinegar that they have there and it's 79 cents and track expense okay um, and then I went and purchased a book off of Amazon and I had actually I bought two books and I had a $25 gift card from, I think it was Easter, that I completely forgot that I had put that card in, that I got that card for Easter and everything. And um, when I went to Amazon to buy the book, it came out, the two books that came out to where I only had two, I didn't have $4.81 or 86 cents to cover the two books. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that into entertainment. Um, then I had my student loan come out and next month that is actually increasing because the consolidated loans that I have are on a graduated I'm trying to think of what plan it's on it's the one that incre that slowly over a year and a half two years or something like that it'll increase the amount that I my minimum payment towards that one. Um, I think it's the extended graduated plan, but I could I could be wrong on that one. Um, so that my student loan is actually going up four dollars and sixty eight cents next month, and I'll have to figure out how I'm going to work with that in my budget. But I'm not thinking about November right now. I'm just kind of or yeah, November. Geez. Oh, okay, the next thing that I had 
which was an unexpected cost, and I'm going to throw this in auto, gas, and oil, was parking. So my first day at the new job, I was not quite sure where my contracted parking was at because all the places needed a badge to get into it. So um, I was going around the parking garage trying to figure it out. Finally, I just I was late to work or, or late to meet my boss already. And um, so I just pulled into the visitor parking lot in the parking garage and it was $30 to have my car parked out there. Come to find out after I talked to the parking garage, the, man, the management company that does the parking garage, I'm actually parked, my contract is in the surface lot that is across the street. So um, I, since Monday, so Tuesday through Friday, I have been parking in that surface lot that's across the street. So it's a little bit further of a walk. It's not connected to any skywalks like the parking garage that it, if I had been in the contracted part with the parking garage, I would have been able to walk to the building without having to actually walk outside. Um, but since I'm in the surface lot, I'm, that, I'm fine with it. It's My company is paying for it. I'm not, so <laughs> I'm letting them dictate where I need to park. So for that first day, though, I had to I parked in visitor parking lot in the parking garage, and it was $30. So I am just throwing that up there. I'm just going to eat the cost. I'm not going to have my company pay me back for that because that I don't want to deal with all of that type of stuff. So I needed to get gas on the third and gas prices have gone up a little bit more so I'm probably gonna have to bump up my gas budget next month um, to probably go back up to where it was when I first started my budget to where I was um, doing about $40 every single um, time I filled up but and of course um, I have to figure out how long I can go driving into the office and everything and can I tell you about my gas guzzling trip home yesterday I only work live 26 27 miles from where I'm working in downtown it took me two hours to get home yesterday <laughs> and you want to know the reason why I love the Astros and I love that they're in the playoffs but seriously the spectators for the stupid sport <laughs> are so frustrating it's they they cause the biggest biggest roadblocks and things like that. It literally took me almost an hour to get out of downtown yesterday because every road I tried to go on was stopped because of all the traffic for the pedestrian traffic for all the people that were at the Astros game. First off, who has the time to go to an Astros game in the afternoon? Who is most of the people that I know are working. So where are all these people that are going to the Astros? Anyways, I'm glad that they're in the playoffs and everything, and I'm glad that of it that soon the baseball that baseball season will be over, and then we'll have to deal with basketball because that Toyota Center is down in downtown. But I can avoid that. But <laughs> Minute Maid Park. Okay, <sighs> venting is over. But it's like I had to completely take a different way home than what I normally take and comfortable with and it's literally sat at a light. I don't I lost count how many times I sat in the same spot and watched this light just cycle through because I couldn't go anywhere. The cars in front of me couldn't go through. I, I really think I sat there for 20 cycles of this light and just didn't go anywhere. That's absolutely ridiculous. My opinion, that's when the cops should be out directing traffic because obviously something was causing a problem. <sighs> okay, over with the venting. And you'll see later on why I had to I had to stop somewhere else because of my drive home yesterday. Okay, so trash also came out. And I am 
putting it into my trash sinking fund so that way I am left with the $20.76 of my trash um, sinking fund. That's what it's called. Okay, on the 5th I got paid. Oh, that shouldn't be an expense. That should be an income. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Okay. Then the, so I'm going to go out of order because this is the order of the day. So Friday, I stopped and got donuts. So I put it at $2 even because I got two chocolate covered donuts and they were $1.80 something. And then I just gave the rest of the change as tip, which is kind of a cheap temp tip, but I didn't want the I didn't want the change. I just screw it. Um, so then, because of my two-hour trip to go 27 miles approximately, I decided I wanted Dr. Pepper. So I stopped off at CVS, got a Dr. Pepper, and not just a Dr. Pepper, but I also bought a bag of peanut butter M&M's and it wasn't just a little bag of peanut butter M&M's. It was the big party pack of peanut butter M&M's. So it was, I think, $9.99 there and I probably could have gone to a grocery store and gotten it a lot cheaper. I didn't care. CVS was on the way home and I was sitting in traffic again trying to get into my neighborhood. So I was just like, screw it. I'm just getting a Dr. Pepper. I haven't had one in quite a while, so I, oh, well, quite a while. I got one at KFC, but it's different when you get a fountain drink and a bottle drink. So the fountain drinks, if I'm doing the fountain drinks and not putting all the ice in there, they're not as watered down. But when you go to a place and they, they automatically put ice in there and they fill the cup up with ice and then top it off with a little bit of soda, I don't like that. I, I, I'd rather have all soda and no ice. <laughs> That's, I love fountain drinks, but it's when you put so much ice in it, I can't stand it. So stopped at CVS. And then when I got home, I was like, I don't, I just want to watch a movie. I just want to chill. I don't want to do anything. So I got, went to iTunes and rented Wonder Woman. And that's six, whatever, six forty-eight. That's kind of an estimate because it hasn't shown up in my account yet that I made that charge. So um, to rent it, it was five ninety-nine. And in my area, we have state, city, all of that type of sales tax. So and it's eight point two five percent. So I just went ahead and calculated the eight point two five percent of the five ninety-nine and did that. So. I may have to come back and adjust that, but I'll do that next week. And then today, when I was doing, wanting to film my plan with me, I was going through all the free printables that I had found online, and I none of them had cut lines or anything like that, and I just didn't want to sit designing, not, not designing, but adding the cut lines and everything like that. So I went to Etsy and went ahead and bought three kits that will be showing up later on this month um, and so I think three kits for $13.69 they were all printable kits off of Etsy so for $13.69 that's not a bad one and I'm going to throw that into craft so that is everything that I have spent money on so far this week I'm going to go ahead and reconcile on my stuff. Oh, and I can go in here and update my fully funded emergency fund because it is not fully funded. It is still 579 14. Okay. Cable, gas, and electricity are coming out this coming week. Auto gas, I'm going to add. $30 to that so that way 
it's adding the $30, it's covering the $30 for parking. Okay, groceries and restaurants, I'm just keeping as they are here. Entertainment, I'm just gonna put this at 15, so that way it gives me a couple dollars extra. And for craft, I'm gonna go ahead, not $2, $20. Bump that up to $20, because I still need to purchase my monthly kits that I do for my monthly playing with me and sometimes for my monthly budgets, depending on if I like the kit, if there's enough stuff, and then go ahead and add the clothing budget. Okay. And these are all, these are the MasterCard and the city. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to BOA. And see. So that Bank of America MasterCard, that one comes out on the 13th. City card comes out on the 15th. This one, BOA. And I went to New York and Company, but because I had the credit card in my file cabinet. Okay, now I went to New York and Company and I have a credit card for them, but I had that filed away in a safe location so I don't use it all the time. And um, the when I stopped off at New York and Company, it was kind of a last minute thing that I really shouldn't have waited for, but I'm, I did. Um, but I didn't have the, car, the credit card with me, so I just went ahead and bought it off of my debit card so it came out of my account automatically and I have already transferred over all of my saving sinking funds that was done today and for November I need to make sure that I have nine hundred and twenty two dollars and forty seven cents that goes to November to pay for the bills at the beginning of the week of the first part of November off of this third paycheck that I get. So that is everything that has popped up so far. I am still kind of working with the gas and oil. Well, it's not really oil, but the gas budget because I'm still not sure how many time like how many days goes I'm trying to think of how to say this the right way. So with me now driving an extra 20 miles a day, I need to figure out how many days in between Phillips, I am now going, is that right, now going, okay, I need to figure out how many days in between one Phillip to the next Phillip there are, so that way I know I can start guesstimating how many, how much my actual gas budget is going to be, so, and then on that one, because gas prices are a little bit higher again around here, I need to, um, I'm going to ha probably have to next month, but, but bump that up to $40 every time I fill up. And by then, I will have a better guesstimate on how many days it takes me to go through gas and things like that. So I do have some trips, not trips, but um, I have a meeting that I have to go to this coming Wednesday, but I don't know if I'm gonna come all the way home to go all the way back again, back into town, or if I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight from downtown to where the meeting is at. And then Thursday I have another meeting, but it's on the way home, so I'm, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out my stuff. So that's where I am at so far for this week. I will check back with you guys next week. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can still maintain or try not maintain because I haven't really maintained it this month. But I will try to wear, I need to go to the grocery store. Not tomorrow, because I haven't. I'm going to give myself 
one day that I, I will be able to splurge. I don't know what day that will be. So if it's Monday morning, that's my one day and I can't splurge for the rest of the week. So I'm gonna try to make it where the rest of the days are no spend days except for one day. I can, I can really go six days without spending anything. I'm, I'm testing myself. Okay. So I will check back with you guys next week with a budget update for this past week. Is it this past week? Nope, for the next week. Holy Lord. I don't know when I'm posting these things. Okay, I will check back with you guys next week when I do a my budget update for the week of the 8th through the 14th. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, please check that little bell icon. That way you are notified every single time that I post a video. Again, if there are any videos that you would like to see, please leave them down in the, or in the comments down below. And I... If you have any... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <clears throat> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are... If you have stayed on your budget, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, please check that little bell icon. That way you are notified every single time a, I post a video on YouTube. And um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right here. Shit. Okay, that is everything for this week. I will check back with you guys next week when I give you an update for sep September. Jeez, October 8th through October 14th. If you are already staying on your budget so far this month, please give this video a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, please check that little bell icon. That way you are notified every single time I post a video on this channel. I hope everybody has a great week, and I will check back with you guys next week. Bye, everybody.